Welcome back to Motivational Mondays with myself, Lee Meyer Goldwire. We're here for a brand new season. Brand new season of inspiration, motivation, hope, ambition. We're here back for another season, man. Season two is here and it's upon us, man. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, Lee Meyer Goldwire. Each and every Monday, we're going to be here, man. Shedding love, positivity, motivation, inspiration. Each and every Monday on my YouTube channel, Lee Meyer Goldwire. Subscribe to that. With that being said, let's get into it, baby. So today's discussion is called, What is your story? What is the very thing that makes you, you? What is the thing that separates you from others? What is your story that's core to your very being? See, our story is the thing that shapes us. It shapes our attitudes. It shapes our drive. But ultimately, we allow our past or our story to define us. Will you, will you bask in the pain of your story voluntarily? Or will you reinterpret your past as a source of strength? Because if I went through that and that couldn't break me, then there's no limit on where I could go. My story? What's my story? I remember being a seven-year-old kid coming home from elementary school. I had just got good marks on my report card. I'm excited to go tell my mom to show my mom this. But one thing about my home, I always smelt this aroma. I never knew quite what it was. But I always smelt it, morning, noon, night, always. But on this particular day, I get home, I'm looking for my mom. I go in her room, she's not there. I go in my room, or my brother's and sister's room, she's not there. I go in the kitchen, she's not there. I go into the bathroom, she's not there. So I'm, I have, so it's one last room to check. It's my uncle's room. So I go to the door, open it. And then it all made sense. That smell that I always smelt was because my mom was a drug user. I open the door, she's lighting with the spoon and I can, I'm looking at her, she looking at me. I'm looking at my uncle, he looking at me. And then it all made sense. My mom was on drugs. Now it made sense to why she was always spaced out. To why when I try to talk to her, have conversations with her, it seemed like she ain't there. It, now it made sense. It made sense that in the mornings when I'm trying to wake up to give me a quarter or 50 cent for me to have a little snack before school that she can barely, barely register who I am because my mom was on drugs. Now it made sense that when I needed my clothes to be ironed, my, my, my slacks or my shirt, she couldn't wake up. So now as a kid, I'm putting my clothes under the mattress, trying to sit on top of it, because in my seven-year-old's mind, that's how I'm going to iron my clothes. What's my story? I remember being home alone. My dad, not in my life, so I haven't seen him in a couple years, so I'm hungry, I'm home alone. Brothers and sisters maybe with their dads. Ain't nobody home, it's only me. I'm hungry. So I go to my next door neighbor's house, Miss Pender. 
knock on her door. She got two boys. To me, they house seemed peaceful, seemed loving, seemed kind. My house is drugs being used, alcohol being abused, and it's white labels on, on the cans of my own cabinet. Dry peanut butter. But I knock on the door and I ask Miss Pender, like, I know you got two boys and I know you a single mom, but do you got room to feed one more? I'm a seven-year-old kid asking this to a, a, another grown lady because I'm hungry and I'm starving. What's my story? If what I've been through, I didn't allow it to break me, then I know what you've been through. You can't allow it to break you. From this day forward, everything you've been through, your story, you have to reinterpret what you've been through and use it as a, as a sign of power that you are a king, that you are a queen, that you are built to, to, to make a dent in this life. You are built for greatness. What will you do with your story? How will you let it define you? Will you allow it to, to hold you back? Or will you allow it to push you to, to the things you want to achieve, to the dreams you always had? You got to remember that you are special. You are chosen. It's up to you to look inside and find that and bring it to the light. Will you shine bright or will you let your past dim your light? Yeah. So that's it for Motivation Mondays, man. We got two options this week. No, we got no options. We got one choice to make this week. Be great. That's it. Be great. All right. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lee Meyer Goldwire. Going to be here each and every week, man. See you guys next week. Peace and blessings to all.